Hey, this is Lance Blankshane. So today I'm going to show how to do tool calling with local LLMs uh, on your laptop using Olama. And we're also going to show how to build agents using LangGraph uh, as well as Olama tool calling. So we're releasing a partner package with Olama, which is really nice because it allows you to do things like tool calling in a way that's consistent with other LLM providers. So all you need to do is just pip install LangChain Olama, and this gives you access to the partner package. Now I'm going to show you how to do tool calling, which is one of the things that we've kind of seen the most interest in or the most kind of demand for with local models. So function calling and tool calling are synonymous. I'll just kind of add that in here for clarity. And the main idea is what you're doing is you're taking a function, which is some kind of tool that you can call. Now this can be like an API, it can be an arbitrary step. It really doesn't matter. The point is you're taking that and you're binding it to your LLM such that your LLM has access to that tool and can produce outputs formed in order to call that tool, or i.e. create a payload need to run the tool. So here's the big idea, right? Let's say we have some like made up tool, it's called step two, it takes some input foo. We can bind that to our LLM, and when our LLM sees what is step two of input three, it can formulate the arguments necessary to run that tool, okay? So remember, LLMs are typed string to string, so it can't just magically run the tool, but it can produce the payload necessary to run the tool based upon the user input. So really, you can think of this as basically payload generation from a kind of raw, unstructured user input, producing the output necessary to actually run the tool. So in this case, you know, I, I want to know, I want to run the tool step two on the input of three, and that produces the argument, foo is three and run step two. Okay, so that's the big idea, and that's kind of the, the motivation behind tool calling. Now, here's the thing that's kind of been tricky. There haven't been that many good local LLMs that can actually do this, okay? So, and when I say do this, I mean really do it reasonably well at a small size, like 8 billion parameter. Now, we've seen, of course, Llama 370B is actually pretty good at tool calling. Um, I have yet to see an 8 billion parameter model that does this pretty well. I even put this out on Twitter. Uh, I do think the the, the now uh, fine tune is pretty good, and I actually showed that in a prior video. But what's neat is Grok recently put out this particular fine tune on Llama 3 uh, that does quite well on the leaderboard. So they show results um, on, yeah, here it is, on the Berkeley function calling leaderboard. And they show some data down here. And in any case, the point is it reports very strong performance. And here's what's nice. It's available in an 8 billion parameter version. It's fine tuned from, of course, Llama 3. So that's really cool. And they did this in collaboration with uh, Glive, so that's you know pretty interesting. And check out the blog post. I'll of course, link it so you can kind of browse around here. But the point is, we have a small open source uh, Llama three variant that's been fine tuned for tool calling. So, you know, I'd seen some interest in this, and it seems pretty promising. So let's try it out. It's available in Olama. All I need to do is this Olama pull uh, this particular model, Llama three Grok tool use. Okay, so I've already done that. Uh, so basically, here's an empty notebook. I pip install Langchain Olama. I've pulled the model, um, and so I have kind of all the foundational pieces that I need, okay? So let's test this out. So what's really nice is that with Langchain, tools tools can just be Python functions, okay? So here's like an example tool, validate user. Validate user using historical addresses. Um, arguments are user ID and addresses, okay? And this is going to be a list, and this is going to be an int. And this is my tool call, right? Now in this, of course, in the real world, there'll be some logic and, and that's totally fine. But the point is, here's my tool. And basically I set up my LLM and all I need to do is just bind this function as a tool. And there we go. Now let's test this out. I just invoke my LLM. And now this LLM, again, remember it's Llama 3 Grok tool use. And this is run locally on my laptop. Um, and basically validate user one, two, three, they lived at these addresses. So basically this should be able to produce the payload necessary to run this function. Um, and let's see, hopefully that runs reasonably quickly and it runs locally. And I can, you can see it's taking a little bit of time. I can spin up Langsmith here. And so you can actually see, uh, we can actually inspect the trace here. Um, so here we go. It's just being logged to my default project. Here it is, and so it looks like it's probably still running. Um, no, it looks like it's done. Let's have a look here. Okay, cool, so look, this is pretty nice. You see the tool call is populated. The arguments are user ID addresses. Addresses are a list, user ID is an int. Seems to work. Now we can go to Langsmith and actually investigate this a little bit further. So it's, this is pretty cool. 
So you can see here's the bound uh, function, validate user. It's called, so that's really good. We can actually confirm that the tool is actually called. And then we can see here's the output. Look, addresses and user ID. I mean, look, that's pretty cool. You can see it takes nine seconds, but it's running locally on my laptop, which is something that, you know, there aren't that many local tool calling models that actually work reasonably well. And from this simple use case, at least, you know, it can perform this tool call. Does We don't actually require enforced invocation, which I have seen with other models. So this is kind of promising. Now let's step this up a little bit. Let's say I want to run this with land graph. And so here's some dependencies. I'm not going to, well, yeah, I've already set these, of course, OpenAI and, OpenAI and Tavali API keys. Um, this is going to be useful for embedding model and for web search, which you're going to see in a minute. So let's actually test building a, we'll call this a simple agent. Let's test building a simple React agent that relies on tool calling. Um, and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to copy over some things. So I'm going to copy over first the LLM. So we're going to use the same LLM we just did. Okay. Now I'm going to build a retriever. So this retriever is going to index three URLs. Uh, we're going to use OpenAI embeddings to index. Um, so that's fine. And we'll put them as, put those in a vector store. So that's what we're doing. And we're going to find a tool from that. This is going to be retrieve documents. So the tool is going to be a, a query string, and it'll retrieve documents from the vector store based on the query. Okay. And I'm also going to give it a search tool. So this I'm going to use Tavily for, and I'm going to call this, have this web search function of run web search on the question. Again, the input is just a string, and I get some documents out. So here, and here's my tool list. So kick that off. So I'm creating two tools, a retriever tool and a web search tool. Done. Okay, so that we have our tools. Now, here's where I'm basically going to create my little line graph agent, and we have a bunch of other things on this, so I'm not going to walk through all this code in detail. I'll share some, some other talks and other notebooks that kind of go off through this in detail, but here's the big idea. It's just a really simple kind of LLM that we're defining. Now, here's what I want to draw your attention to. This is the prompt necessary to kind of run those tools, so your helpful assistant tasked with answering user questions. You have access to two tools, retrieve documents and web search. For any questions about LLM agents, use retrieve documents tool otherwise use web search and that's because if you go back and look at our tools here uh i've indexed three urls one of them is related to agents so basically i'm going to keep it simple and say questions related to agents send to the retriever everything else send to web search okay so that's what i'm instructing my kind of lm assistant to do and so there we go so that's set now i'm just going to copy over this is some kind of standard code that we've kind of walked through in some other videos but this code basically sets up a really simple react style agent in line graph and you can even see that right here this is exactly what's going to happen so i have an assistant the assistant is basically the llm it'll decide to make a tool call if it decides to make a tool call it goes to the tool node calls the tool goes back and this repeats until there's no more tool calls and then it'll just answer the question directly and finish so we're going to walk through that very shortly here but this is just that's just kind of the basic react setup and so here's kind of the invocation test so let's test this out. Uh, give me information about the types of LLM agent memory, okay? So here, we're expected to call that retriever tool. Let's try this out. So this is now running, and this should take a little bit of time. We can open Blanksmith just to kind of sunny check our agents. Our agent's running here. And um, cool, we can actually go look at, so this is kind of nice. So we can actually look at, here's our, here's our assistant, right? Um, and so we can like, let's kind of back up here. So basically, remember our diagram, we're gonna start with our assistant. The assistant will make a decision to use a tool or not based on the question. And if it decides to use a tool, it'll basically go to the tool node, tools invoked, the output of the tool gets returned back to the system, and this will repeat until no more tools are called and then it answers directly. Let's look at our trace. So you can see what's happening here. First, we go to the assistant, the assistant, um, decides, okay, this is good. You can see it calls the retrieve documents tool. So basically, get me information about the types of LLM memory. We instruct it, we instruct it for any questions about LLM agents, use retrieve documents. So it's calling the retrieve documents tool, not bad. Um, here's, so basically that goes to the tool node. This is the tool node. The tool node then call retrieves the documents. Here's the documents we get back. Great, goes back to the assistant node. And let's just see, this should have run. And yep, here's the retrieve documents from the tool call. This is the tool message we get back. This is perfect. 
The types of memory used for LM power autonomous agents are short-term memory, blah, blah, blah. That's exactly what we want to happen, right? We ask a question related to LM agents. It calls the correct tool, retrieve documents. Um, the tool node is called, retrieves documents, sends it back to the LM. LM answers the question and we're done. Pretty nice. So let's try a different one. Let's ask something about like current events or something, right? Weather and SF is like the canonical current events question, right? We're all SF-centric people, which is probably obnoxious to anyone who's not in SF watching this. But um, yeah, who cares about the weather and SF? It's always the same anyway. But we're running this. Let's see what the response is. Okay, and we get some response. Let's just see if it did actually the right thing. Um, yeah, and so cool. It... Um, uh, yep. Yep. Cool. So web search is called just as we expect. You go to web search, it goes to Tavili search. Tavili search gets some information about the weather. And, and there we go. Current weather in SF is sunny with a temperature of 67 degrees. That's what it is every day of the year. So it's not very interesting, but it's, it's about right. I was just outside getting coffee. So there you go. Look, we've built a React agent with local with a local LLM that's been fine-tuned for tool calling. We've showed it can perform tool calling with a web search tool and a retriever tool. Not bad. I actually have not seen local LLMs be particularly good in general at tool calling, but in particular about tool selection. So at least in the trivial case here, it looks like it can select from two tools, web search uh, and uh, retriever reasonably well. I do think you have to be careful. This is often quite sensitive to prompting, so just be aware of that. I would be also be pretty aware about passing it more than like a small number of tools, like maybe you know two or three seems to be reasonable. Two certainly seems to work in this case. Uh, I'd be wary of that. But look, this is pretty cool. Um, you know, I haven't seen local LLMs be particularly strong at tool calling, and this actually appears to be pretty reasonable, at least in my simple test here. Uh, with two tools passed, it can kind of perform tool calling from a retriever and from web search, and it seems to work pretty well. So it works with a, within Langraph as a React agent, as we just showed here. Um, so not bad. I encourage you to play with this. And of course, the, the Olama partner package makes it really easy to run these types of experiments with different LLMs. But the Grok uh, fine tune seems to be quite a nice one for local tool calling, and I'm excited to see what comes next. Thanks.